Snow over Kabul, the Bagram Air Base bombing. That old white man, he told the talk show host he was celebrating as he flew in the doomsday machine high over the Atlantic Ocean on his way to Kabul from New York City. Even from that altitude, he thought of building on a war built for decades on shifting sand, demanding more, pleading with anyone who would be on the other end of the camera pointed at him, demanding they give their lives for things like his plane ride through snow-formed clouds over Kabul, where 23 of the hundreds of thousands of people he demanded are dead as soon as he arrived that day, because he arrived that February day. I've only seen pictures of snow in Kabul, and in those pictures the sky is bright, the radiant sun, with clouds so large and white you can feel the chill. That old white man loves to tell stories about flying through those clouds, bringing that chill to earth with his descent putting that chill into 23 officers without even a mention of them, not one. 